Hello everyone, Miraj here and today I have another gameplay video for you but before jumping into the game I remember that uh, you can find the deck and the, the in-depth deck guide in the description below so don't forget to check it out uh, In this game I am against uh, Nilf Nilfgaard and Nilfgaard is actually one of the toughest, toughest matchup because they have a lot of control tools as you can see here in the mulligan, I just mulligan away a couple of bad cards and also I mulligan away Arnagad because I want to play him through um, Geralt Quen. And I uh, started on blue with uh, the armored Drakkar. Don't want to start with Crack uh, uh, or Defender against Nilfgaard. I want to just uh, see what uh, it has uh, in store for me. Uh, here uh, they start with uh, one assimilate uh, engine and uh, against an assimilate I have to be very very careful so I invest one leader charge and uh, the first uh, use of an aeromancy to control and remove the first uh, uh, assimilate with Holger black hand uh, otherwise I risk that they go out of control also the Holger is very very useful because uh, it can have a lot of value in a long round so will help me to win round one uh, he goes with the mage torturer uh, so just uh, a temporary play I just play the light uh, demon light longship get some armor in hand which will not be that useful maybe but it's always nice to have uh, he plays the Glynis and uh, as soon as he plays that uh, I think I cannot actually answer it uh, properly so I will just uh, ignore it. Just play a couple more bronzes, get another ping uh, uh, from the Demon Light longship, uh, get some armor through the boat builders and here it's good to just uh, press uh, uh, the tactical advantage not because I want to pass but because I want uh, them to to uh, think I want to pass. I will never pass uh, against a simulator uh, at uh, uh, six cards. So my opponent just commits uh, something because he wants to maybe be able to reach out in the next turn if I pass with only one card. Uh, I get the fair card, I uh, get uh, the Imperial Diplomacy. He got something to, to play and to trigger his uh, assimilate, reducing the distance. Uh, but as I, I said, I don't want to pass against a simulate uh, with discard count and I have some engines uh, sticking there so I just uh, ping one time with the light launch, give some armor there and uh, I have also the bloodthirst too so I can uh, play the demon corsair and get uh, one additional point uh, with the drag card. So I am in a pretty solid lead. Uh, it's uh, 22 points, uh, uh, mm, many of my units are also armored, so it's not that easy to get some damage on them. My opponent commits the Arterius Vigo, Duchess Informant, uh, get a boat out, a lot of uh, assimilate proc, and uh, it's only 7 points of difference. Still, I, I go on uh, by placing a lot of... Uh, by using my engine. And also it's time for me, in my opinion, to, to go with Defender to prevent my opponent playing other uh, Duchess informants uh, um, in uh, free ways. And here he just plays the Dutzburg uh, runestone, gets some uh, suboptimal value with the created unit. Uh, yes, just here is just an exchange of bronze cards, uh, more or less. I go on with my engines here. Played. Uh, I don't know why here I put the armor on the Demon Corsair. It's just a blunder. Like uh, I was thinking about something else because it makes no sense. <laughs> but it it can happen. Here I played the Tursek uh, Invader because I feel um, safe. I have a lead of uh, 16, more than 16 points. Uh, uh, he can uh, jump uh, over me, but he has to commit a, a very, very good card. And uh, here he creates another um, bronze unit from my faction, uh, gets some assimilate proc. Uh, the game is uh, starting to become uh, uh, dangerous, but I have some in engine uh, ticking, so I can play at least one more card with the Demon Light Longship. So I just get uh, the demo light, the other demo light longship down, get some uh, armor in hand, uh, you never know. 
uh, ping with all the stuff, uh, get another effect from the uh, Demon Corsair and from the Dakar. Uh, and here I'm 20 points ahead, so I plan to pass really here because the things are um, becoming dangerous. My opponent just passed because probably he has good cards that he does not want to commit uh, to, um, uh, to um, overcome a very big gap. And we go to, to round two. My first plan was to actually bleed. Uh, then I saw this hand, which is very, very good. But uh, it was also really awkward for me to understand what to do here. So I really deliberate a lot and finally I uh, decided uh, to pass. My opponent uh, on the pass played the Mage Torturer, which is a 5 provision card, which is not very bad for me actually. Uh, I, I was thinking of taking uh, one 4 provision card, so that was very very good. Uh, also a little bit fortunate. Here I just mulligan one uh, card here. The um, Armored Drakkar, if I'm not mistaken, for uh, round three. And uh, I'm searching for the Terror of the Sea, obviously. That is missing from my hand from the start. But uh, as soon as uh, I hit the first mulligan, I cannot risk the other one because I want to play Armagad uh, with uh, my Gareth Quen. So, here I start very aggressive. Uh, after the assimilate that he plays, I want uh, to, to put some pressure on him. So I go on Aeromancy into Sigrifa's right uh, into Defender to see if uh, he can answer it properly. And I want to find a windows as, and window as soon as possible to play, to be able to play um, Crack as safely as possible. So here I ex expect uh, also a Yennefer's Invocation, because as soon as inv Yennefer's Invocation comes down, I'm free to play Krak. Uh, he plays Cantarella, unfortunately gets my Terror of the Sea, which is not a very big play by his part, let's say. But it is uh, actually very, very important because uh, he now knows that I do not have a very good finisher. He also uh, used the leader charge uh, and find uh, Krak from my hand. So if uh, he will be able to copy my bronze, uh, we'll have some good uh, good uh, value. I decide to play my crack because my defender is still up, so it's the perfect window to get at least one time the effect. Um, but my opponent finds a very good way to use uh, uh, to to remove the the defender. Plays the Arietta and uh, with the damage from the new leader, my leader ability, and uh, uh, with the damage from the Terror of the Sea, get rid of, of it. So now I know that I need to use Crack at least one time because it will be answered later. So I play the Fukusia on the Holger, place it next to Crack, remove the only um, the only uh, assimilate uh, engine that's there that can be scary if uh, left unchecked, and get some more. Uh, uh, rain and some uh, other uh, uh, damage uh, going on. I get in Yennefer's uh, Invocated, uh, so no crack uh, for me and the match is uh, very tough right now. I just play the Demon Warship uh, just uh, to wait a little bit to get the Arnaga the combo, which is my um, only win condition right now. He played the Menno into the Coup de Gras, gets also the Holger value. Uh, get some more uh, points going for him and he is in pretty nice situation now it's time for me to get uh, the um, uh, royal decree out but I don't want to play Anagad right now because he has uh, he will have one charge from the crack so I want I don't want him to crush the shield with uh, just the order ability of crack I have to wait one turn play the bear witcher uh, wait uh, until uh, he use uh, the crack ability once and then I will play Anagad but he just copied my Anagad and this changes the things um, fortunately, I have the Garrett Quen, which is a shielded, so he goes through the Arnagad, which is zero points for now. And I play my Arnagad with the shield and a lot of armor, which is again uh, will damage his uh, Arnagad by a lot of points, and I lose nothing. 
He plays the Duchess Informant, plays the copy the demon warship next to the crack to get some more value. Unfortunately, he does not have a um, pirate in the graveyard. I play the Sucrus next to Arnagat. Sucrus does just battle the, with the Arnagat and <laughs> destroys it. And my opponent just forfeits because uh, he cannot uh, do anything even if uh, he has... Uh, like the Bratens or stuff like that, it's uh, impossible uh, to recover right now. Uh, so, it's a very tough matchup, Nilfgaard. Uh, maybe this deck was not even optimized, uh, but still, uh, as you can see, uh, if you play the if you wait to play crack defender um, and you try to find the best windows possible, even by playing them very, very uh, later on in the game. Uh, and you make use also of your cheap uh, bronze engine, you can come on top. Uh, so be very mindful in using crack, do not rush it. Uh, just try to get at least one time the effect, and also you have all the other stuff uh, um, to play. So don't worry to uh, win some games without the aid of uh, crack. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you next time.